God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Great ruler of all space and time, you give us daylight to employ in work for you that with the night refreshing sleep we may enjoy. While silence and the darkness reign, preserve our souls from sin and harm. Let nothing evil venture near to cause us panic or alarm. And while we thus renew our strength, untouched by pain of sinful fire, let hearts and minds find rest in you, the source of every good desire. O oh, Father, this we ask to be done. Through Jesus Christ, your only Son, whom with the Spirit we adore, one God who reigns forevermore. Amen. Blessed are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem on Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Put in your sickle for the harvest 
of the earth is fully ripe. They have pressed me hard from my youth. This is Israel's song. They have pressed me hard from my youth, but could never destroy me. They plowed my back like plow and drawing long furrows. But the Lord who is just has destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers. With that no reaper fills his arms, no binder makes his sheaves. And those passing by will not say, On you the Lord's blessing. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Put in your sickle, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. <coughs> What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Hear this, all you people. Give heed all who dwell in the world. Men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With a harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in the well and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever. Their dwelling place from age to age, though their name spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom, he is like the beasts that are destroyed. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their back and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their own. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light anymore. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever.
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Dixit Andrea, Simoni Fratri Suo, Inveniemus Messia, Let us praise Christ, the shepherd and guardian of our souls, who loves and protects his people. Placing our hope in him, we cry out. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Eternal shepherd, protect our bishop Samuel and all the shepherds of your church. Look kindly on those who suffer persecution. Hasten to free them from all adversity. Have mercy on the needy, Lord. Provide food for the hungry. Enlighten all legislators to enact laws in the spirit of wisdom and justice. Kyrie eleison. Pray for our students and for next year's class. Come to the aid of our departed brothers and sisters whom you've redeemed with your blood. Make them worthy to enter your wedding feast. Kyrie eleison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. <clears throat> as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, and bestow your peace on our time. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and go. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace.
at Rome on the Appian Way in the cemetery of Callistus, the burial of St. Pidian, Pope, decapitated in 250 during the Decian persecution, after 14 years as Roman pontiff. According to one tradition, he divided Rome into seven sections and contributed to the evangelization of Gaul. On the same Appian Way, in the cemetery at Catacumbas, around 303, St. Sebastian, the captain of the Praetorian Guard and the garrison at Milan, he was condemned to die by being shot with arrows in the field of Mars at Rome. This was ordered by the Emperor Diocletian, who was beginning to exclude Christians from his army. St. Sebastian's cult has been very popular since the 6th century. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the book of life. Remember our most gracious Virgin Mary. That yeah, never was it known that anyone who fled to that affection, implored that help, or sought that intercession, was loved and hated. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer to thee. Amen.